when you see the narcissist living their best life. Many of these narcissists are mentally and emotionally stuck in high school. They're stuck at that phase in their lives. So they want to be accepted. They want to feel important. They want to be a part of something. They want to be included. They want to belong. Because this high school phase has crucial importance in our success. And if you look at it, your relationship does seem like you're dealing with a high school kid. Someone who is very immature. Someone who has the emotional and intellectual development appropriate to someone younger. Someone who has no direction. Someone who is unsure of who they are and where they fit. Someone who has no sense of self. Someone who is confused about their future. Even as an adult, they're still trying on different selves. They're still creating different characters. Because they don't know which character to be. It changes depending on who they are with because they're just being what people want them to be. They're not being themselves. Because they never form an identity. Which is why they continue to be fake. Because they have no confidence in who they are. They're just following other people's reactions. They're following whatever is trending or fashionable. So how could they be living their best life? They could only ever be unhappy and unsatisfied because deep down they feel inferior. They feel inadequate because they could never accept who they really are. Instead, they created a false character who is meant to be everything that they are not. Everything that they wish they could be. But it's not really who they are. It's all fake. They're nothing but a shell of themselves. Because they're trying to cover up the problem. By going along with what they think people want to see because they have no confidence in themselves which is why they become what they think other people want them to be rather than being what they want or who they actually are and in the process of doing that they lose their identity so by default, all they can do is be fake. They can't be real. Because to be real, they would have to have an identity. They would have to decide who they want to be. And then be that, instead of going along with what they think people want to see. But this is a conflict that they never resolved. They never learned how to decipher between gaining acceptance from other people and staying true to themselves. So they're confused. They're unable to think clearly. 
they don't know who they're meant to be. Because it changes from one moment to the next. They have so many different ideas. Depending on what is trending or fashionable. They just go wherever the wind blows. They move without planning or thinking. Without any logical explanation or reason to it. They're just moving aimlessly through life. Being a shell of themselves. If the narcissist has something to brag and boast about, you will see it, you will hear about it. Because narcissists are exhibitionists. They behave in an extravagant way to attract attention. They're attention whores. They behave in a provocative, outrageous and reprehensible manner. They're extremely flirtatious and obsessed with themselves. So they think they deserve all of your attention because they're very arrogant and they're full of pride. They have an excessively high opinion of themselves and their own importance. They think they're special, but they are also very envious of other people. They want what other people have. They want other people's success. They want other people's money. They want to obtain things that will make them look good and impress the people around them. But they also want people to be envious of them. They want people to experience discontentment and resentment aroused by the narcissist's possessions, qualities or luck. They want you to desire to have a quality, possession or other desirable thing that belongs to them because that's exactly how they feel about you. They feel like you have it better than they do. So they try to protect their feelings of envy onto you. They use you to regulate their emotions because they can't do that on their own. They can't attend to their own emotional needs. So instead they use you like a puppet. They get you to go through it for them so that they can feel better about themselves. Which is why they don't want you to have more than them. They don't want you to be more successful than they are. They don't even want you to be on their level. They want to put you beneath them. They want to make you feel small. Because that's exactly how they feel. Even when it may seem like they have it all, they're still not satisfied, they're still not contented or pleased, because they can never be happy. They will always be dissatisfied with their circumstances and with their life. They're dissatisfied with their family life. They're dissatisfied with their relationships. Even when they have a loyal, loving partner and charming children, it's still not enough for them. They will cheat on their partner. They will abuse and neglect their children. They will create problems out of nothing. They will incite chaos and drama so that they can justify their decision for leaving for a short time because they always get bored. Happy relationships do not keep a narcissist happy. They need drama. They need an emotional roller coaster. To the untrained eye, it may seem like they have the perfect life, but it's just an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. But it isn't real. It's an illusion that they created. 
to get a reaction from you. That's all it's designed to do. Narcissists always get bored with their relationships. They take people for granted. And they're always looking for the next shiny new toy. The next bigger, better deal. They're never satisfied with what they have. They always want more. And it's the same thing with their work. It may seem like they have the perfect job, but they're just doing it for money. It's not their dream job. It's not what they really want to do. But even if it was, they would get bored of that too. No matter what they have or what they're doing, they never feel valued enough. They always want more because they always feel like they're missing out on something. So even though it may seem like they have the perfect job, they will cheat paying taxes. They will avoid responsibility for their partner and children. They will hoard all of the money for themselves because it's just never enough for them. They will always want more. It may seem like they have worked on themselves and they're looking better now. They're more physically attractive, but they're not satisfied with how they look. They know that it's a false image. They know that they're acting against their principles and interests. They know it's just a character they show to the world. It's not really them. It's not really who they are. It's just something they use to control and manipulate other people by misrepresentation. It's a false identity which is used for the purpose of deception. It has nothing to do with who they actually are. It's an imitation. They just copied someone else. They took on someone else's ideas and style. They copy other people's words, facial expressions and actions. They copy other people's personality traits and dress style and then act like it's who they are. But they're nothing but a concoction of different people mixed into one. Nothing about them is authentic. They are fake people. They do not love themselves. They are not happy with themselves. They hate themselves. And that is why they hate everyone and everything. But they put on an act. They pretend like everything is okay. They pretend like everything is fine and dandy. They hide their discontentment for their lives behind their fake smiles and their many possessions. But if you could be a fly on the wall in their home, you would see how things really are. Because behind closed doors, they are miserable. They're depressed. They're temperamental. Because they're not happy with their lives. They were sold a dream by the media and society. They were led to believe that money, success and relationships would bring them happiness but they will never experience happiness if they are greedy. If they have an intense and selfish desire for wealth and power, if they are envious of other people, 
if they lack consideration for other people and if they're only concerned with their own personal profit or pleasure so they will never live their best life they will just create a facade and they will try to sell the same dream to you that was sold to them the dream that you should only care about yourself You should only focus on your own physical appearance, money, power, success and relationships, when none of that is going to make you happy. Happiness only comes from within. And when you find that happiness within yourself, you will be able to share it with other people and they will be able to find their happiness within themselves but the narcissist will never be happy. They will never live their best life. All they will do is be fake. All they will do is put on a show and act like everything is going well for them, even if it's killing them inside. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsviver.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.